Hey everyone, so you guys asked us a lot after we did this whole video with, the, uh, with printing castable material on a large format printer. And we have actually got an answer for you. There's a few factors that you need to consider when you do this. Obviously, when we had a lot of trouble with build plate adhesion. So you need to make sure you have a resin that doesn't suffer from that outright. Um, looking at U-Power resin. Uh, <laughs> that stuff is very difficult to work with and it's also incredibly expensive. So we reached out to our friends over at Apply Lab Works, and they sent us over an entire case of their castable cyan resin. Now in the budget category, I would argue that this one is one of the best. For us personally, we've just had so much luck with it that it's, it's just, it's a no brainer for us. I know from experience printing with this material that it has excellent build plate adhesion, so much so actually that when I go to scrape it off the plate, sometimes it's like chipping it away. Um, I would prefer to chip away than to have it just fall off the plate personally. I think that's a great compromise. It also has relatively low exposure time. On the SL1S, I believe I'm at five and a half seconds per layer. On a Jupiter, uh, really, I haven't tested it quite yet. We've literally just got the box, but this is what I would be testing with. On some of our smaller printers, obviously we've taken the liberty here and printed a few of those trees that I talked about in the last video, fully pre-assembled. This saves me uh, probably around two hours worth of work. I am not a very fast sprewer. I pay a lot of attention to you know making sure that the connections are nice and solid and things like that. And um, one of the things about Apply Labs is that it doesn't stick very well to wax. So that's one of the other factors as well that you need to consider is that a lot of the castables just don't work very well with other materials. So printing it in place is definitely something to consider. Now I've actually done three of these trees and I'm going to be casting another one today. I'm really excited to see how well it turned out. I'm really hoping that uh, Apply Labs lives up to the success that I've had before, looking at such a massive scale. So when it comes to large format 3D printing, this is where I would recommend you start. Because at $100 a bottle, it's very budget friendly, relatively speaking. I know that's still a lot of money. If you have failure, it's still, you know, it's a lot to lose, but it could be way worse. And I feel like this is a great place to start. It has lots of great characteristics that are very beginner friendly. It fits the budget. But if I had no budget whatsoever, you trust your 3D printer implicitly, you know it's gonna work. The best resin that I could possibly recommend is Bluecast X1 because it has such great bed adhesion, such great detail retention. It casts like a wax because it actually melts away and turns into a liquid. And when you're dealing with trees such as this, the X1 stuff, it's such a soft resin when it prints that you can just cut those supports away very easily. I had quite a time getting the supports off of this one in particular. There's actually still a few on there I can see, but it really depends on your, the style and how you're going to go about doing that. So you guys have harassed us enough in the comments. There's your answer. I recommend you start with Apply Lab Works Cyan. And if you have no budget whatsoever and you trust your printer, go over to Bluecast X1 and give that a shot. Full disclaimer that this is not a sponsored post. Apply Labs did send us this case for free but it was really more so they could help us out, help you guys so that we don't have to you know, spend over a thousand dollars on resin just to have something like this.